Hello, friend, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Reverend Anna, the Senior Minister of Unity of Austin, and I want to share some thoughts with you today about look up, draw close to God. This is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 20 through 21. Once Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered, The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed, nor will they say, look, here it is, or there it is, for in fact, the kingdom of God is among you. And here's something that Myrtle Fillmore, the co-founder of our unity movement back in the late 1800s, said, indeed, when I have felt in a strange land and longing for familiar landmarks, when I feel such a hungering, I try to draw very close to God and rest in the assurance that all is well. When you're lost in the weeds, a good strategy to get yourself home is to look up and get a handle on the big picture. Locate yourself in time and space. Where's the sun? How high is it in the sky? Is it rising or setting? What landmarks stand out? That approach is what we need right now in our individual lives, our country, and our world. So much is stirring old consciousness and ways of relating that have restricted, harmed, and divided people are being released. When old structures are giving way, it is a rough ride. We are in unfamiliar territory. We may feel we've lost our way home. Looking up and seeing the big picture heartens us. It reminds us that there is a greater purpose to be fulfilled. We're moving in a positive direction, so why are outer conditions getting more challenging? We see the unprovoked invasion of Ukraine, the fearful reactivity of some in our country to the increasing visibility and empowered participation of people of color. We all wonder about what the future holds for ourselves and our families. It may seem like the bullies have the day. They don't. A psychologically astute spiritual principle states that as our ability to live from spirit expands, everything that is incompatible with spirit amplifies. It comes to the surface in ways so obvious that it can no longer be swept under the rug. Unhealthy consciousness and the actions resulting from it grow loud so that they can be seen, acknowledged, and released. When what has been unconscious becomes conscious, we have a choice. We look at what is restrictive and see it for what it is. We no longer give it power in our life or in the world. We open to spirit's way as we work daily to give love, peace, and wisdom the power to bring spiritual qualities into expression in our thoughts, words, and actions. As we focus on this realization of deeper meaning, we are energized. We draw up the courage to find the way through. Suffering always comes with a gift in its hands, the discovery of our own voice. That's what's happening in our country and in our world. As old painful ways of relating are laid bare, our new openness is the opportunity to make wise choices from greater depths of our spiritual lives and values. Our Christ nature is calling out, strengthening us to build relationships and communities that are life-giving, respectful, and full of love listening with love and acceptance to our own fears and the fears of others is the beginning. From there, we go forward to nurture the power within us all. Through this, we become fosterers of creativity and joy. This is the greater purpose that's being fulfilled. Look up, draw close to God. This journey through the weeds is getting us home. God bless you. Much love to you in the love and the light of the living Christ. God bless.